Hello, scholars. I wanted to talk to you today about something fun that I thought you might enjoy, and that is creative writing. And sometimes when we're starting to do a creative writing story and we're trying to pull ideas out of our mind, it's really hard to get started. So I wanted to show you a really fun way to get started with creative writing. And this is a strategy that I learned about when I was in college, and it's called the 328 paragraph. And so I thought I would share with you a really fun story that I wrote and kind of tell you how you can make your own 328 paragraph. So the first sentence has three ideas in it. For my dog TJ's birthday, she went to Flea Bucks, Bonanza, and Bark and Robin's Ice Cream Parlor. So there is one sentence with three ideas in it. So it could be something simple like, I have a dog, a cat, and a fish. And you could write two sentences about your dog, two sentences about your cat, and two sentences about your fish. Or if you don't have any pets, but you wanted to write about animals, you could say, I wish I had a giraffe, a zebra, and a hippopotamus. And then you could write two sentences about each one of those ideas. So I used to have a dog, and she was my favorite dog. So for my dog TJ's birthday, she went to Flea Bucks, Bonanza, and Bark and Robin's Ice Cream Parlor. So I took three things that are out in the world, like Starbucks, and changed it to something that might be more interesting to a dog. So I changed it to Flea Bucks. And then there used to be a steakhouse called Bonanza. So I changed it to Bonanza because bones would be interesting to dogs. And then instead of Baskin Robbins Ice Cream Parlor, I changed it to Barkin Robbins Ice Cream Parlor. So you can see each idea is a different color. So Flea Box, Bonanza, and Barkin Robbins Ice Cream Parlor. There's my three ideas. Now I write two sentences about each idea. For my dog TJ's birthday, she went to Flea Box, Bonanza, and Bark and Robin's ice cream parlor. At Flea Box, she had some sparkling water. She put a sprig of mint in her water to add some flavor. So I just wrote two sentences about Flea Box. Now I'm going to write two sentences about Bonanza. So at Bonanza, she had a juicy T-bone steak. She took the bone home in a doggy bag to eat later. So there's two ideas about Bonanza. So now I have two ideas about flea box, two ideas about Bonanza. And now I'm gonna take my third idea, Bark and Robin's Ice Cream Parlor, and write two sentences about that. At Bark and Robin's Ice Cream Parlor, she ordered a double dip of peanut butter ice cream and bubblegum ice cream. She licked her pup cup clean. Now we have seven sentences. Uh, the first sentence that has the three ideas in it, and then two sentences about each of those three ideas. So our eighth sentence summarizes the whole paragraph. My dog TJ had a wonderful birthday at Flea Bucks, Bonanza, and Bark and Robin's Ice Cream Parlor. Three, two, eight. So three ideas, two sentences, and the eighth sentence restates what I just told everyone. So it's the summary of the paragraph. So we had a good paragraph but we wanted to go back and make it even more exciting for the reader. So this time I went through and added adjectives and descriptive words. So I'm gonna read it to you, and as I read it to you, notice the words in rust color are describing and more descriptive of what I'm talking about. For my dog TJ's 14th birthday, she went to the jazzy Flea Bucks Coffee House the trendy Bonanza Steakhouse, and scrumptious Bark and Robin's Ice Cream Parlor. At Flea Buck, she had some sublime sparkling ice water. 
she put a sprig of zesty mint in her water to add some tangy flavor. At Bonanza, she had a juicy medium rare T-bone steak. She took the tasty bone home in a foil doggy bag to eat later. At Bark and Robin's ice cream parlor, she ordered a double dip of smooth peanut butter ice cream and chunky bubblegum ice cream. She licked her polka dot pup cup clean. My adorable dog TJ had a wonderful 14th birthday at Flea Bucks, Bonanza, and Bark and Robin's ice cream parlor. So you can see how I already had some adjectives but I added more to make it even more descriptive so that it would be more interesting for the reader to read. And those words help put pictures in the reader's head about what they're reading. But we can add more. Now we have a pretty good story, but we can go back and add adverbs and change boring verbs like went, had, put, eat, took, we can change those to more exciting verbs. So the more exciting verbs I made green and the adverbs I made blue. So for my dog TJ's 14th birthday, she went to the Jazzy Flea Box Coffee House. Went is a boring verb, so I changed that to, for my dog TJ's 14th birthday, she hastily trotted to the Jazzy Flea Box Coffee House, then energetically sauntered to the trendy Bonanza Steakhouse, and finally landed at the scrumptious Bark and Robin's Ice Cream Parlor. At Flea Box, I had she had some sublime water, but I changed it to at flea buck she gallantly guzzled some sublime sparkling ice water. Instead of saying she put a sprig, I wrote she happily placed a sprig of zesty mint in her water to add some tangy flavor. I had at Bonanza she had, and I changed had since it's boring to devoured. So at Bonanza, she rapidly devoured a juicy medium rare T-bone steak. She jauntily seized the tasty bone and took it home in a foil doggy bag to swiftly gnaw much later. At Bark and Robin's ice cream parlor, she excitedly ordered a double dip of smooth peanut butter ice cream and chunky bubblegum ice cream. She slowly licked her polka dot pup cup clean. My adorable dog TJ favorably enjoyed a wonderful 14th birthday at Flea Bucks, Bonanza, and Bark and Robin's ice cream parlor. Do you see how those words put pictures in your mind as I was reading them to you? So that's what we're trying to do when we write a creative writing story is put pictures in the minds of the people that are reading our stories. I hope that you like this story. I'm going to read it all the way through, but look for a minute at all the words I crossed out because they tend to be words that we use too frequently, like went had, put, had again, took, eat, had. So um, I got rid of all those boring verbs and put in some more exciting words. Now I gave my story a title, TJ, the Wonder Dog's 14th Birthday. Notice how I indented my paragraph. For my dog TJ's 14th birthday, she hastily trotted to the Jazzy Flea Bucks coffee house, then energetically sauntered to the trendy Bonanza Steakhouse, and finally landed at the scrumptious Bark and Robin's ice cream parlor. At Flea Bucks, she gallantly guzzled some sublime sparkling ice water. She happily placed a sprig of zesty mint in her water to add some tangy flavor. 
At Bonanza, she rapidly devoured a juicy, medium-rare T-bone steak. She jauntily seized the tasty bone and took it home in a foil doggy bag to swiftly gnaw much later. At Bark and Robin's ice cream parlor, she excitedly ordered a double dip of smooth peanut butter ice cream and chunky bubblegum ice cream. She slowly licked her polka dot pup cup clean. My adorable dog, TJ, favorably enjoyed a wonderful 14th birthday at Flea Bucks, Bonanza, and Bark and Robin's Ice Cream Parlor. After you write your 328 paragraph, you can draw a picture of your story that you wrote. Feel free to have your family members share your stories with everyone on our page, and it'll be fun for your family members to read to you and see everyone else's stories that they wrote. I thought I'd share with you a picture of my dog, TJ. She loved to lay in the living room and soak up the sun rays, and this was just a really cute picture of her soaking up the sun. So this is just a PS to the family members. When I taught kindergarten, I had the students dictate stories to me in 328 paragraph formation. After I wrote down their stories, they drew pictures. Then I took all the stories home and sewed the pages together with my sewing machine, made a cover, and made a big book to read to the class. And each week was a different theme. And I was thinking that you could help your child uh, develop a long story that they keep adding to and turn it into a book. Or um, you, if you have more than one child, they could write stories and you could put it together in different books with different themes that you would like. And I just wanted to give you some ideas of something that you could do while we're waiting for teachers to get the online training up and going, because I know a lot of school districts, they're getting all of that set up. And I just wanted to give you something that would be fun to do as a family, but educational at the same time. So this is a pre-K through fifth grade, probably. Uh, strategy. It might be okay for kids in the middle school if they're interested in writing creative writing stories. I love reading kids stories and I definitely want this to be something that you would be involved in. I'm not trying to get kids to post, um, but if you would like to share your child's uh, story, then that way you could come back and we'll keep it in the same feed and uh, upload it there and then you can come back and read other kids stories to your children so just kind of a time filler until we get things on the ground with online training i thought i'd try to do a couple of different things uh, to put out there for family members to have ideas to keep your kids busy so have fun i hope to hear from some of you soon